Hello everyone and welcome back to Amps with me and Joe. Yes, hello guys. Uh, today we are going to, well, I'm going to, I'll tell you what I'm doing. You're going to build oh, a farm. I, I'm building the tree farm, okay? So Tommy's just going to do some up. Yep. Weather me. and Max, I've seen sneaking around. I swear I've seen some name tags sneaking yes. around this area. They're getting pretty close to finding our base. So Bugs. they're starting to sort of like, I think they're doing this sort of radius. So they're sort of going around in spirals. They're not on right now. But we're going to use this opportunity to start moving our base. We're going to completely move our base. And not in the way nice. that you might think. We're going to do a really awesome base movement. Basically, what we're going to do, basically, see what I, made, see what I did there? That we are going to actually not move everything out of our base, but actually move our entire base. We're just going to move our entire base somewhere else. And you can see I've turned off my cords at the top so they can't, they can't see where we are. And it's going to be amazing. It is. It is going to be groundbreaking. So, we're going to need a lot of these structure carriages, which I have programmed into the crafting thing. And you'll find out that a structure carriage is quite expensive, though. Or not not expensive, but it needs a lot of wood and planks. So you need eight carriage frameworks, each of which needs eight carriage panels, each which needs eight sticks and a carriage cross piece, which requires even more sticks. So basically you need a ton of wood for these things. And we're not going to have enough, so... We've decided to start making a tree farm, which is what Joe is now working on in the farming age. Hello. Not the farming age, the uh, the amps age, whatever it's called, the, the mining, mining age. That's what we're yeah. Do you remember? I do remember. So, so we, we've been um, for like months and months now. That's right. That's what we're that's what we're on. So have you got export and import buses, Joe? Pardon? Have you got import and export buses? Uh, yes, I have. Okay. Um. I'll bring a few more things along so that I can just hook up everything. Yeah, sure. Um, so what we're going to need is we're going to need... Um, Are you going to do the uh, base moving? Stuff? What base moving? Well, I'm making the farm, you're doing the base stuff. Um, am I? Well, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Well, I'm, do I'm doing the base stuff, but I'm going to just get some ender chests going. I need to get an ender chest for the saplings sure. to come through. Um, so that's going to be important. Okay, so yeah, you do that. So we need to I'll get more blaze action. rods. So I need to go to the nether, actually, get more blaze rods. Um, so yeah, let's go to the nether quickly. Um, once we're in the nether, I'll be right back with you guys. Right, through to the nether I go. Joe, how are you doing on your farm? I'm done. Um, so yeah, basically what we're going to do is a stat... Oh my word. There's a, a lot of skeletons chilling here. They seem to have wanted to go through the nether portal because it's a safe place to go when it's not, uh, when it's sun time. Sun time, daytime even. Um, right, is this a safe place to land? I can't remember. I think it is. Yes. Okay. Right, let's go to the blaze place, wherever that is. Um, let's get my armor on. I've got some obsidian armor now, which is pretty awesome. i got some pretty nice enchants. Well, I say nice, but they're pretty basic enchants, but they do the job. Um, doesn't really matter if I die t too much because I can pretty much just we don't lose our items in amps. It's good. Um, so yeah, basically our, our tree farm is going to be using fir trees, Joe. Oh, hello. Okay, explosions are off, so I can just run. Um, yeah, so we're going to use fir trees, and what that means is that we are going to be able to get tons of wood because fir trees grow extremely tall, um, like like seriously tall, um, bigger than jungle trees actually. So that's going to be good. And um, basically the way it works is, I'll show you in a minute, once I once I find these blaze rods, I can't remember. It has been quite a while since I was last here. It might be up here actually. But yeah, basically, um, the MFR, you, you plant these four saplings in a little square, and then you literally just cut, um, grow them with like fertilizer, bone meal stuff, and then you pretty much just go from there. It's pretty simple, but works very well. Now where the hell am I meant to go? I don't really understand... Where the hell this blaze place is? Is it down here? Okay guys, I found the blazes. They're right here. I'm ready to take them down. You sure saw me? I mean, I am. I just had to go you through this. You don't seem that ready. I just had to go- Oh, there's a wither skeleton in there as well. I need to take him down. You don't seem ready. I'm It's just a pretty- I don't feel that. Oh notion. god. Ow, I'm on fire. But I'm owning. Just own. You sure you're ready to all the blazes are down already. It seems like you're lagging. No, I'm not. I'm taking down these blazes. Look, one. Really, sure. Down he goes. One hit knockout on blazes is very useful because 
they're typically extremely hard to destroy because they build up too many. Oh, that is I am just bringing over this universal cube over here. Hey. There was a massive magma cube behind me there. Are these blazes gonna spawn or what? Do they just not want to spawn anymore? There we go. Oh, I'm getting pretty unlucky with these drops actually. There is another blaze that's just randomly spawned over here though. They must drop like a really small amount now, because I swear they used to drop like between one and two, but now they only drop like zero or one. Unless I'm being really unlucky, which I probably am, knowing my luck. Probably am, they wouldn't have done that. Come on, blazes spawn for me. How's the farm going, Joe? You digging? I can see you're digging underground there. Um. Quite easy. The universe cave hits, obviously. Really. I just need one more blaze rod. Come on. And it would be quite useful to have another few. Um, because typically you're going to need a lot of ender chests. And it's always good to have a lot of ender chests. Um, because they're extremely useful. So could you please hurry up? Please. Pleasey, pleasey, pleasey. Hurry up. It's not, it's not doing too much right now. Ooh, there it is. There's another one. Okay. Um, that should be enough. I really want to get more though, I feel like I should get like up to 13 at least. Tell you what guys, I'll come back with you once I've got more blaze rods, because this is just taking so long. Okay guys, I've got quite a lot in the end, i got 20. Just sort of standing around, just killing them. Um, there we go. 20 blaze rods, not too oh. bad. What? Oh, I got stuck in the dirt. Alright. You don't want to get stuck in it. It's not like it gets in your mouth. Up yeah, your, nose, up your, your mic is being a bit weird sometimes. You need to speak at a constant, constant volume. Really? Maybe I should put a bit close to my mouth. No, I think it's just, it like quiets out sometimes. It's a bit weird. Oh, yeah, I, no, I actually quiet out. No, but like really properly. It like fluctuates quite a lot. Never mind. Okay, so blaze rods. I need to get some blaze rods. Well, that's flat. Let's go. Orange ender chest. With some ender pearls. Okay. So. Well. And there we have it. We've got two ender chests. Two orange ender chests, which is going to be used for our fertilizer. So we're going to need a level emitter. And a storage bus. So I'm going to make the. Well, I need to make the storage bus. Do we not have any more storage buses? What do I need over here? What did I do for the uranium? So basically what I did the uranium is I automatically automated putting into the fission cell. So I have a level emitter, an export bus, and a storage thing, okay. Level emitter, export bus. So export. We have one of those. So I need now a ME storage bus. There we go, got one of them. And I need a level emitter. I need a basic thing for that. What do I need? Redstone torch. That shouldn't be too hard to make. There we go, there's a redstone torch. And I'm going to need a um, processor. Just make like 10 of those. So what are you making at the moment? I'm making all the stuff I need to get the fertilizer across. There we are. And I'm probably going to need a load of ME. Well, you've got a load of ME cable, haven't you, Joe? I uh, Well, I've only got nine. Oh, how, where have you used it all in? Well, I it. used it all to connect it up to... Oh, right, okay, yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's um get this down over here, then. We're going to need a few facades, probably. And we're probably going to need some stone. Right, so... Where should we place this? Let's place this... Oh, what about here? That'd be good. We need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of that. And we need to place the level emitter here. And then... We need to go over here and check what I did. So I need to remember what exactly I did over here. So... 
the storage bus saying fist off your rods only. I had a thing in here saying active with oh, signal. Seven. Uh, just connect. Emit when below limit. Active with signal. Emit when below limit. Okay. Okay, so 64 of that. So we haven't got 64 of that. Stay on. Then we need to put down our ME thingamajiggy. So I need to wrench that around into place. There we go. And I need to say active with signal, industrial fertilizer. And hopefully, some industrial fertilizer should now start going into this ender chest at some point. But we need a storage bus. We need to put that storage bus here. That's it. Okay, I remember now. Okay, right, so then I put this here. Like that on the storage bus, come on. There we are. And then I say put fertilizer in here. Yeah, I need some fertilizer. You got the fertilizer, right? Well, fertilizer's up and running, which is nice. There we are. So Found we've got 64 up. fertilizer always in there. That's good. That would look really nice, actually. Cool. Okay, I'm just going to put a uh, facade here, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Just that little bit more effort, Joe. All that matters. Yeah, what matters. Okay, so there we have it. It's all in there. 64 industrial fertilizer, kept in there all the time. And now we shouldn't have a problem dealing with that ender chest. Put one more facade down here. Now that looks really nice. Okay, perfect. So, we've got 64 industrial fertilizer always in this ender chest now. So now we can send this across to our farm for an active supply of fertilizer. Here we go. I'm going to need another storage bus as well. So let's make another one of these. So I'm going to need another ME interface. So I'm going to need another conversion matrix, which I can craft. As you can hear everything whirring behind the scenes. There we go, ME interface, and then the storage bus. There we have it. Okay, I'm going to come across to you now, Joe. We can go and check what's going on. Nice. Right, so where... Oh, there we go. I can see it over there. Okay. Right, so I can see it all taking shape. Yes, it is. So you've got power going to everything? Yeah. Even the harvester? You haven't got it to the harvester yet? No, not yet. I, uh, I haven't got enough cable. Have you got any on you? And all these things are facing the wrong way around at the moment. Are they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oops, can you replace that? What's that? Oh, let me see. Was it here before? No, get rid of that. Yeah, I know, but I need to yeah, place yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, was that? Replace it from the back. Oh, yeah. And this as well. And is the planter definitely facing upwards? Yep. Okay. So, there we go. Um, you need to place that dirt back there, Joe. What? What? Here. Well, what's here? Oh yeah. Right. So there we go. So where's the ME cabling coming from? Where's what? the ME? Where's the ME cabling? What do you mean? I've only got one, one left. Yeah, the ME cabling. The the ME cable. Oh yeah, here. Got four four precision X. But have you got the actual ME cable? I can see it there, it's next oh, to yeah, the flower uh, pots. Yeah, okay. You need to hook, I'll hook that up then. So just throw them all out. Thank you. And I'll connect to them. Through the ground. It's an interesting way of doing it. Oh, hang on, that's not going to work actually because you don't too close to the ground. What do you mean? 
I need to put you need to you forgot to put the ME cabling down. Oh. Right. Okay, once it finish off those saplings up and there. There we go. Whoa, look at that. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Chops down the entire tree. Nice. 